It's very worrisome that the security situation in the southeast is deteriorating at an alarming rate. It has forced the General Superintendent of Deeper Life Bible Church, Pastor William Kumui, to cancel his planned crusade in Abba, Abia State. The crusade was scheduled to hold in Abba from the 24th to the 29th of May, but the prescribed indigenous people of Biafra told the 80-year-old pastor not to go ahead with it. Before that, IPOB had asked secretary, uh, security agencies to flush out criminals enforcing citizenship in the region in a statement. The media and publicity secretary of IPOB, Emma Powerful, said such criminals are not IPOB members nor Eastern Security Network operatives as IPOB volunteers don't enforce non-existent Monday citadel. Meanwhile, the federal government, through the Minister of Police Affairs, uh, Meigari Dingyadi, had, has branded on non gunmen operating in the region as terrorists. Mikio, I would like to start with you again on this. Do you consider the suspension of the crusade as a smart move? Well, I think it makes sense to, to not go ahead with it. Um, yes, the, in the East, Christianity is the dominant religion. The people had been involved in big crusades over the years. But in a situation in which security is almost um, collapsing, if, if it has not even totally collapsed in that part of the country, if uh, Pastor Kumuyi went ahead with it and some people got killed, of course he's going to be blamed for such fatalities. So I think it made sense where you cannot guarantee the security of um, people who will be taking part in the crusade. Uh, it makes sense to to uh, to share the idea of the uh, of having that crusade. I'm really really worried about the security situation in the southeast. The armed forces need to double up their efforts because it is their responsibility to protect our people. The region, especially those two states, uh, Anambra and Imo, are slipping into anarchy. A situation in which people get kidnapped and get beheaded and their heads uh, um, paraded in the in public places is, is, is just unprecedented. So uh, I think it makes sense uh, to take the decision that uh, Pastor Kumui uh, has taken. In future, when security improves, he can return to the area and, uh, and um, um, carry, out, uh, carry out his crusade. Remember, even when the governor was warned that, he should, that they will be attacking local government headquarters. Yeah. Governor Soludo decided to shut down local government headquarters because if people got killed for coming to work, of course the governor will be blamed. Mm. So this is a situation that we found ourselves. The IPOP agitation has been totally hijacked by cultists and other criminals. Now you can see that the center cannot hold. The center cannot hold anymore. A lawmaker representing the governor's constituency was kidnapped along with his aide. And after almost two weeks, it turned out that uh, they had killed the, the, the lawmaker and his, uh, his, his head was, was put in a carton and, and uh, dumped in a, in a public place. The, yeah. the, 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 uh, his up to now has not been located. Mm. I mean, this is just terrible. It's, right. it's unbelievable that the southeast or uh, some parts of the southeast right. could slip into this avoidable anarchy. And yeah, absolutely, Biko. I think that efforts, greater efforts need to be made to secure the area on the part of the leaders of the region, mm. on the part of traditional rulers, and even the governors. Something mm. drastic has to be done to arrest right. this drift to anarchy.
Right, let me bring you to the studio. Uh, Dr. Ladipo. Well, IPOP said they claim that they're giving security intelligence to the church because they know much about the security situation in the state than any other person. It does appear that IPOP is now give, is now becoming an intelligence, uh, you know, intelligence agency. <laughs> well, Dad, you are you are right, and um, in the past, really, IPOP has been quite clear on some occasions when attacks were carried out that we want. I heard that this was going to happen. Mm. The challenge we are having with iPod, iPod is that some people are carrying out attacks in their name. So it's like to some of us, iPod is giving a warning that I'm going to attack. That mm. is the way it seems to a lot of people. Mm. So until we are able to separate these so called unknown gunmen from IPOP, mm. we are still going to be in a situation mm. where IPOP will only be warning that IPOP wants to carry out an attack. Mm. That's what is happening in this in this case. Well, I declare you, I'm not sure whether you're you're trying to fix your microphone, but let's let's try it. Whether it's going to actually uh, pick a sound. Well, uh, IPOP knows. They said they know better, but then we know that. IPOB, just like he said, you know, they started all of this insecurity of a thing. And the unknown gunmen are usually are also almost saying the same thing IPOB is agitating. For instance, sit at home, they come out, they destroy the, the community, they say sit at home, they're implementing sit at home. They also are, you know, clamoring for independent state of, of Biafra. So who are we to believe? Well, you know, we, we created this. The Nigerian state, you know how I, I hope it will evolve. Mm. And when you mishandled a small well, crisis, yeah. it can blossom to something more, you know, uh, deadly. Yeah. And that is what we are having now. We are reaping the fruits of poor leadership. Yeah. I put, you remember, there was nothing like this many years ago. In Nigerland, so the secretion, or uh, let me say, a response to certain things yeah. that people of that region perceived as part of the failures of this current administration. There was nothing like this in Nigerland before this administration. Yeah. And when it started, the way we attacked it. So you repressed, so people went underground. You don't make any case for hypo, mm. but what is happening here is. We need to do more before it, be, it becomes uh, something worse than Boko Haram. Mm. The, da the damage they are doing to Ugoland, the damage they are doing to Nigeria now, it's almost on the same scale with you know other terrorist organizations. Mm -hmm. You get my point? Mm -hmm. In a society where you can be ki kidnapped and be beheaded anyhow. As a matter of fact, the news that, that we got... Is that not a state or a state that is going towards, you know... Yeah. You gave my yeah, the recent news that we got was that a lawmaker was actually beheaded, and you know, and saying that if politicians do not, you know, find uh, answer or accede to their to their clamor, that they will continue to do that. That they will be you no. Know, if they do not withdraw the soldiers from from the southeast, then they will continue with their shenanigans. Then, by our standard, a lawmaker, we have security, you know, pretty surrounding, mm -hmm. and yet this happened. You know how many people have been. Kidnapped and killed in some, you know, manners like this in the mm. last one year. Mm. But when you look at it, this is the time the government needs to do everything. Yeah. We say, okay, how can you have a state? We have a government. Yeah. Yeah. Then we have government within government. Yeah. Because now, Come on, Lolo. you will see a state governor giving directive that no, you are free to go out. Then you see another government, mm. illegal one, mm. that will say no, non nobody non -state, must go non -non -state out. And who do the people obey? They mm. will obey the illegal government. Mm. And this illegal government, mm. see what is at, you know, what it, what it has become. Yeah. You now have the militant wing, you now have, you know, the IPOP that was uh, proscribed by the government of Nigeria. You now have the IPOP that was called on 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 no government mm. and the, what do we call them in the <laughs> in the in the media now so they kill people they they kidnap they yeah. do everything yeah and yet in this 
in a country that has government, yeah. so it's, it's, it's unacceptable. It's actually unacceptable, just like you said.